So one of the first things we want to note here is that the circumference of a circle is, we already have uh, been introduced to this, but our, uh, we notice that we have two formulas. One of them says circumference is pi times d for diameter, or pi times 2r, r being radius, because radius is half the diameter. So depending on the context is what we use. In example A here it says, find the circumference of the circle, and we are given the diameter. So, please begin with the formula that you're using. Practice makes permanent, so the more you write it down, the more it's in your head. Next, you plug in what you know, where you know. I do not know C, but I do know diameter, which is 3. And now, when I simplify my exact answer, <laughs> is 3 pi meters. And that is my exact answer. Would you want to multiply it by pi? All right, so this is one answer. My circumference is 3 pi meters. Now, of course, bringing that more into the real world, we do multiply by pi. If you use your calculator button, that gives you more accurate. If you use 3.14, that'll give you a different one. So when I multiply out with pi, I get 9.42. Notice that I have now changed it to approximate. Please change that to approximate because we are not exact anymore. So there are two answers. One is the estimated value. One is the exact value. All right, now in this next one, we uh, have a circle with a radius 3.8. So that's key here. Since I have radius, I'm now going to use the other formula, 2 pi r and plug and play like we did before. In this case, I put 3.8 over there. And my exact answer would be 7.6 pi centimeters. So there's my exact answer, my circumference, 7.6 pi. And when we multiply out, okay. And we can round it up to 88 no. centimeters. Generally speaking, we can go out to the hundredth place. That's two digits. Now, context is king. So we don't always plug it in exactly the same way. In number C, or letter C, get my categories right, I'm asked to find the diameter of the circle uh, if it has a circumference of 48 pi. So... What can I do? I can still start with my super secret formula, 2 pi d, or excuse me, just pi d. Why did I choose this one? Because they asked me to find the diameter. So now I'm going to place the 48 pi for c over here. And over here is pi times d. <laughs> now to get D by itself, I divide los dos lados by pi. So I get D equals 48. And the answer being 48 centimeters. Notice the equal stays equal. There is no approximate value. Since I never plugged in pi in my calculator, I did not have to find an approximate value. So the diameter is the same. And notice in D here, we are now asked to find the radius rather than the diameter. So now I begin with the formula that uses the radius, 2 pi r. So I'm going to substitute 12 pi in for c, 